Okay, so it's week two, and I am incredibly impressed with the speed of the guys at Perry Homes, because this whole place is stripped right down. There's no insulation left. It's right down to the boards. I was in here last night, and the wind was just howling through the walls, and it, it really does take me back to a few days ago when I was with the MV Power folks talking about the importance of great insulation. So it's really cool to see a house and feel a house without insulation. So really, really excited to see how we can rebuild this house with the proper amount of insulation so it's tight, it's soundproof, and we're nice and cozy and warm. This week, they're gonna be raising the roof. And I'm really excited to see that. That's gonna be super cool. So we've got all these cathedral trusses. It's gonna be really exciting to see the guys peel the roof off. And because it's so freaking cold outside, we have to do this quickly. So uh, they think it's gonna be two or three days. And obviously we have to check the weather to make sure it's not gonna be raining or snowing when it happens. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of variables in the in the situation. The other really exciting thing this week is I get to bring my friend Steve into the house, and Steve is a good friend of mine, and him and his wife Monica are architects, and they've been coaching us uh, along the way as Jess and I have been dreaming up how this house can look. And the other really exciting thing is they're going to be our neighbors, so they've got a piece of property next door. So this is the first time Steve has been able to come in here since. It was the uh, you know the way it looks before we start tearing stuff out. Greg and Jess uh, are in the process of uh, dismantling this this house ah! and uh, and are going to be our neighbors. So we're we're assisting them in uh, helping develop a bit of a, a scheme, a plan, how to kind of get moving. But as you know, Greg will take this and just run with it and uh, try to make Jess happy along the way. Be able to see your house as a blank canvas, like no walls, no carpet, no lights, no no fixtures of any sort, no appliances. It's really, really cool, as you can see. So today I was able to take Steve through the whole house, uh, ask him some questions. You know, architects really think about flow and way, the way people live their lives much more than I would because I, I've never really done this before. So one of the things we talked about today was keeping the whole thing open concept. And Steve reminded me that we don't have to always think about open concept, that sure it is in style and there's a lot of things, a lot of reasons why having open is good. But he also acknowledges that we're a busy family and actually having a little mud room and having a bathroom kind of in the middle of the of the space, which I couldn't really envision on paper, might make a lot of sense. And then, uh... You've got the beach, the hot tub, the boat, kids, the neighbors. You don't want just a coat wrap, right? Like the mud room is gonna be huge yeah. for the, the cottage life. Even in there? Oh yeah, these are all old railroad ties. Covering creosote. Yeah. system that we took out yesterday, oh last God. night. This, this broke right off of the uh, reverse osmosis. <laughs> really? Full of ice. Oh. <laughs> hey, look inside. <laughs> oh, look oh inside. God, it's it's solid. solid air. Nice. <laughs> last night was quite a bit of drama because my other neighbor, uh, Russell, we all have the same reverse osmosis water systems in our houses here because most of the well water here has salt in it because we're so close to the river. So we've got these very expensive, complicated systems. And because my neighbors have been watching us, you know, peel the siding off, they they know that the electricity is off and it's freezing cold in here. So I got a call yesterday from Russell saying, you might want to make sure that your osmosis system is drained because uh, it's so cold out and maybe it's going to freeze. So we came last night and sure enough, the water was frozen solid. So a bunch of neighbors got together last night. It was awesome. Uh, Rob and Ann came over and Russell and, and my father came in and, and we just took the whole thing apart. It was freezing cold, like I said, but we just walked it over to a neighbor's heated garage and that's where it is right now thawing out. So we're hoping it didn't have any damage because we hope to use the same reverse osmosis system when we uh, when we actually get to move into this place. So, yeah, look at that. Oh, gross. Oh, yeah. Well, I got a little, little bit of the action on the old legs here. 
and my boots. <laughs> nice and light now. Feel lighter. <laughs> That's the update for this week. Next week, there's gonna be no roof. Cheers. Yeah.